The chair now recognizes the Honorable Harvey Goodwin, Godwin, Chairman of the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina. Thank you, Chairman Gallego, Ranking Member Cook, and members of the subcommittee. My name is Harvey Godwin, Jr., and I'm the elected chairman of the Lumbee Tribe. On behalf of my people, thank you for this hearing on the Lumbee Recognition Act and for allowing me to testify today. We appreciate the courageous work of our champion representatives, Butterfield and Hudson, and other members of the North Carolina delegation who have co-sponsored our bill, including representatives Dan Bishop, David Price, and Alma Adams. We are grateful as well for the support of the great governor and honorable Roy Cooper of North Carolina and the North Carolina Indian Commission, which is represented by Executive Director Greg Richardson, who is here in this audience today to support us. We are supported by both of our North Carolina senators, Richard Burr and Tom Tillis. Senator Burr has written a strong opinion editorial about why congressional action to extend full government to government relationship to the Lumbee tribe is critical. We are honored to have such strong bipartisan support from our home state. We also thank Representative Don Young and Betty McCollum for their sponsorship of our legislation and for their longtime support of our tribe. The Lumbee people are thankful for the support of other tribal nations and organizations, including several members of the United Eastern and South Tribes, or USEP, for their courageous support of H.R. 1964 and the Baltimore American Indian Center. Mr. Chairman, if you will allow me, I would like to offer letters of support and resolution to be put into the record. In the audience with me today are several Lumbee Tribal Council members, several of our Lumbee ministers, and immediately behind me, representatives of the Lumbee Warriors Association, all of whom honorably served the United States military. I will ask you to allow me now to ask these individuals to stand, the Lumbee Warriors, and all veterans in the audience and be uh, recognized. Mr. Chairman, I am the great-grandson of Quinn Godwin and the great-great-grandson of William Corville Jacobs, both original petitioners in 1885 for full fair recognition for Lumbee recognition. 131 years later, I'm the 19th Lumbee tribal leader to come before Congress for justice and equal treatment. And I hope that my children and my grandchildren won't be here in the future doing the same thing that I'm doing today. As mentioned before, our tribe is located in rural Southeastern North Carolina, Robinson, Oak, Scotland, and Cumberland counties. In 1887, a normal school was created in Pembroke, North Carolina, for our people to teach ourselves to be teachers. And today, that same institution is the University of North Carolina at Pembroke. The Lumbee Tribe Culture Center is where we have all our cultural observations, and it is welcomed for our youth and for our elders and people in our members who have a substitute of opioid abuse. Our cultural influence is regional and state and nationally uh, wide. War Paint, our host, uh, host drum for the 2018 powwow at the Eastern Bound uh, Cherokee, it was an a, a honor for them to be there and it was an honor for us to have them there. We have very su successful programs of managing Nahasda housing funds, our HUD DASH program that puts uh, homeless vets, Lumbee vets in, in houses is one of the most successful in the country. We have our energy program, our Boys and Girls Club, where we have seven Boys and Girls Clubs with 600 youth every single day, teaching them about our culture, helping them to look, do better in school, tutoring them, and mentoring them by professional people who come in and as mentors to help them every single day. Our people are elected officials, state and local, entrepreneurs, doctors, lawyers, ministers, teachers, and farmers, and many other professions. As stated before, this legislation has been before this Congress in 1888 and in, and in 1956. Both were terminated because it was stated that we're just too large. Delay, this delay has harmed my people and our elders each Sunday testify in church. When will we have full federal recognition and when will we be recognized in my lifetime? Our youth or in, have inadequate schools and health care, and they're still looking for the same thing. Our vets who serve our great nation every single year since 1888 in every conflict. 
are come home to a second class tribe that's recognized as a second class tribe because of the lack of full federal recognition and defending the very government that cause, has us labeled as second class. H.R. 1964, the 13th bill before the House over 100 years, it's time to establish fair and just treatment of the Lumbee people. We have full faith, full faith in this subcommittee that you'll do the right thing and for once and for all recognize us and cause our people to have an, a, a fair place on the playing field of full, fair, fairly recognized tribes in America and correcting this historical injustice. Thank you for your time today, and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have.